Welcome to Jamaica, the island of real bad man Some real dog at you throw some real gang bang No run for the fair, the dark garbage man Welcome to True Island Stories This is the Cleave Me Cleaver of Matches Lane Story Part 1 After watching his close friend's head amputated right in front of him and his brain particles flying like a scud missile and invading his eat out of his mouth, that is. Cleaver's quick reflexes had him emptying out his 9mm pistol on them. Come, 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 come! And running up Low Lane and onto Barry Street. Cleaver ran through a yard and turned his pistol behind him onto the chasing Mongolians. Come, 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 come! As Naluk warheads pierce on him that flesh and bones. Flying through zing, ching, 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 and a bounce off, flying through wooden dwellings. One bullet flying through the hole in Jesus' hand in a picture hung above a dinner table, re-injuring the Messiah in the process. His nemesis, though, were relentless in their pursuit. The pack was closing in, breathless, <laughs> as they fired on him near range. Come, come, come! Boom, 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 boom! Pa, boom, pa, brr, pa. He had gotten shot on the scene. But in the current exchange, no bullet had touched him. But his adrenaline propelled him forward. Death was on his doorstep, but this killer was elusive. He had nothing for the Grim Reaper on the day. Only lead for his pursuers. Boom! Bah, boom, 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 boom! He echoed his muzzle behind him as he wheeled his unit on transfer lane to come closer as if it was the Night Rider. To them, to them, to them, to them, to them. Tudum, 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 tudum. Clevido was running out of real estate and fast. He was begging for the wire. Just one more cut out through the choppy to go, and he would land right on Chancery Lane. He was breathing heavily. He was hemorrhaging blood. He was getting dizzy. And then, boom! Thank God, he finally reached. He jumped in his car and pressed gas. Out! Tire screeched loudly as he exited stage left. He escaped on King Street and lived to fight another day and tell tales of his roids for his grandkids and kids. Hmm? About three hours later, a man on a bicycle came through the yard looking for him. He ran through with his gun in his hand looking for him. I'm the, I'm the, I spot him, I spot him, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the. And I saw the boy on the chair, the Cleave was long gone. He had evaded capture from the woodlums giving chase. The wolves were at his heels. And this, though, would be the last time they would see Cleave in the air. Or so they thought. A week after his friend Crab was killed on North Parade, the exact spot where he and Cleave was hanging out, shot up by an unknown assailant. Some say it was Cleave. Others say it was the ghost of Crab, the King Killer. But this sent fear into the community to a hundred degrees decibel because they now knew that the man who escaped death is now a madman on the loose. A psychopathic maniac, a deranged lunatic. So, where did it all start with Cleavy? What chipped his chip? What broke in his medulla and garter? What spurned in his frontal lobe? Enraging this madman and sending him on this nefarious path of malice and murder. Cleavy was from the Mac 11 area. Some section at that time that was controlled by a rat bad crew. Machine man, remember him? Hmm, and then the offspring dukes, man. Night time again, for Canada. Fully bought. Cleavy, though, from an early age, was placed into exile after he killed a man who he said was a part of his father's demand. His father was murdered over some money that some persons felt was shared and equally among themselves. Where's the honor among thieves, they say, if there's any? I strongly doubt it. Do you? From where are you sitting? Hmm? I in his teens. Cleavy 
pounced on one of the men with a potato over his barrel of his gun. Come, 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 come! And shot him dead. Yes, be a skeleton, pan him. In our yard, Japanazinka, Lee Kota, and Sanka Cross, jinking blood from the liquor pit. But this, though, brought unnecessary heat on him with the men from the community, and he had to fled lead. He was then recruited by a group of thugs that were from a nearby community in Mexil Avenue, who was headed by a big man named Blood. Blood had a strong connection in Maxil Avenue and also downtown with the famed or the infamous Spangler's crew. Zeke's and Blood were good at the time. They were great partners. Blood had a crew comprised of a lot of brutal, vicious men. Men like Jabari, Fatman, Papi, T. Patrick and Yoshman, all from the Maxil Avenue. These men were given houses and sources of income for their exploits in Spangler's crew. So it was alleged were aligned with doing a lot of dirty works for Zeke's at the time. And Cleavy at this time was recruited by Fatman and was brought to the downtown lifestyle. A few years later, Blood and a few of his loyal crew members managed to escape the treacherous and paranoid fangs of Zeke's because they had gotten wind that Zeke's had planned to murder them in no uncertain manner over some discrepancies. Paranoia, perhaps? Who knows? Cleavy and Papi T was the only two that stayed behind. And maybe because he, Cleavy, had nowhere to go. Where he was? That was it. Most of these hoodlums were not from Maxil Avenue. So, they just went right back to whence they came. See, they were imported from all walks of the earth and came to Maxil come bong, Lebron at the Jumbelad. You understand? Probably on a thief in the yard when I broke up crap men or no? You understand? Cleavy began cleaving all people's head. Thus rising through the ranks, from just being a regular soldier to now somewhat of a top flick flick hitman for Zeke's. At this time, Crab, the king killer, was making his way up the ladder in the system also, in the underworld, in the badlands of the Gestapos. For this script of Cleavy, he was dark skinned, space teeth and big eyed, bulby eyed, and he was always properly groomed and well kept. If you saw him without the knowledge of who he was, you'd think, ah, oh, he was just a simple roundaway dude, the old regular Mr. Joe Schmo in the nefarious badlands of the garrison. However, he was anything but that. He was a cold and callous reptilian deviant from the Genghis Khan's hordes of murderers. And if he was coming through a yard, he'd say, good evening, sir, and good morning, ma'am. And based on your age or so, either just you as Miss or Mister. But Cleavy though could be easily transformed, like Optimus Prime if needs be. Cleavy took his dad's death personal, and every year of his dad's death, guess how he celebrated? He would just go to the community where his dad's death took place and just murder someone. Come, 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 come! No caps, no regrets whatsoever. One time, he killed a guy, and the guy's sister, she no come pan TV, can tell, can tell pan Cleavy, and I say, but no, I will kill my brother, Cleavy kill my brother, and no, I go so. That was a silly move done by this girl, because he went back and paid her a visit. Cleavy saw her and said, hey, girl, hey, I come call up bad man name pan TV, I bought pan your brother murder, I'm to you. You take your two years with God gear, say, me cleave you shut your thinking, brother, hey, girl. You know, say, you're a liar. But she wasn't scared of him, she replied. Me never did it, but people are dead and them see her, cleave them see her. You never had a hide when you shoot, my brother, sadie. You're too evil. 
no you name when your name no you name dirt devil you kill me better than it now go so not a poos clack now go so oh that me i tell you you know what oh go eat your dirty clothes and allow me and cleave it all right now anything or anything hear me you kill me better and it now go say yeah now go say people walk and sell beer yo now go say no walk and sell me for me but it kill box money for you because you kill me but i think it's not gonna say no i'm gonna say no you live on you no no god my man i don't want you no no and his days are god he let me no i'm gonna say yeah yeah oh don't you matter i'm gonna give it no i'm gonna say but cleave remain silent and let her speak invent and then he replied calm cool and collected A true man, God no, nah, God sir. She looked quizzical by his remarks and replied in tears. So, so he means my by that, both it nah, God sir. Tap 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 tap. A sight figure and a sight aga. Cleavis entered to live with her beloved brother, and then tap away. He was a maniac when provoked. A man unhinged at the time. Maxil was in chaos, and he was carrying a barbaric axe against his enemies. There, no easing up. On sight, bam, bam, boom, pa, brr, pa, 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 pa. Pia Skellington, panemi, nemi, zdom. The sea of Mona Cleave beat up, vandalizing his gate. He had an altercation with him before. Yeah, remember in the Crab King killer story? If you have missed that, you should catch up. And you'll understand. I'm not going back over it. I have no time for that. I won't train my energy. That kind of stuff. Hence, the dude had some cheers that he would sometimes leave outside his gate. You know, I mean, outside him yard. The cleavage he done said, "Oh, what a satire, na." You know, the man, him girlfriend, him girlfriend, sit down there, him love, and we eat a bun and cheese and him rock a piece and you know what I mean. I'm rocking a piece and I feed and I drink hand sky juice in a soft ready liquor ice. You see, and he drink some and make she drink out some and then I'm be spot that and come back cross boisterously demanding cleave. Yo, come out of my chair, hombre. Yo, come out of my chair. You make them bread in your bite. If you not bite, come out of my thing. So cleave is a elder. You know, if you are going to send a bread in our so, the guy continued to be boisterous and cleave just get up and just wheel it here. Whack, 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 whack. I start beat the brother across him back with the chain a man like he brother and pick me in a man. You see me? Cleave it pop off the gate and use the injured gate to chop the brother in the head in a man. I saw Cleave it cool in him. Alright, you see after Cleave he gets shot from the pokey incident again. If you wanna know how that go, you gotta check out the Crab King Killer story. And True Island stories, it's there. In verbatim. After him get shot from the pokey incident, he was in his girlfriend's yard and an altercation started with her. Where she thought, you know, she could overpower him because he was shot at the time. Him get angry and start beat her body. Him fire a shot close to her ears and, you know, caused it to start bleeding. But, according to reports, that was what really turned her on. As she loved him dearly. I'll give you another scenario for a dangerous urge for gangster men. She had an ex who was a party promoter and she went out with him one night. Strangely enough though, both she and her ex and Cleavy Owen of his baby mother was at the same spot. So, Cleavy spat her and called her phone. Bring! Bring! And she answered, Hello? So Cleavy said, Bobel, spider! And she replied, you know, so for Angela birthday night party, me there, her sister and her boyfriend, they plan a little surprise party for her. So over here, me there, I go and help them out and I boom bang. Post a soon jump off still. Me say, Cleavy, you want to see her face when she walk in for work with the two scandal back there. But she just got them a grog with her mouth wide open. Yo, hold on, hold on, I come out and I say, Cleavy, hold on there. Give me two seconds. Nah, man, nah, man, said Cleavy, you nah, for move, man. Me see you from a spy, them, man, you're good, man. What do you mean by you, you say me I, I, I'm a good? You, you white Versace blouse and, 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 and your black flowers part with, with right at the left breast of some man with, with, and your red jeans pants you have on. Yeah, and, and wait, tell Mikey say white not fit him dog. Mikey was her ex. 
You are leave she leave up like Shelly and freeze out of the venue as if her house was on fire and she just got the call. Her ex managed to get Cleve's number one day and call him and start disrespecting verbally. Verbally abused the Danny you now. Yeah, boy, I never see me. I go shove my thing in your face. I dap me. I tell you, yeah. I want me. I go one in your fight. Cause yo, yo, I be a tough. Me I see a tough. I want to what? You kill some little man around so that I go free. Yo, I'm not afraid of your fault. You see me anything me can do. Me make my money do for me fall. I dap me. I tell you. So Cleve start laughing. and say, <laughs> We have come to the end of part one. Of Cleaver, the meat cleaver from Matches Lane story. Join us for part two soon. On the True Highland stories, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And click the notification bell to be notified when stories are posted. Do not get left behind. And thank you to all our subscribers and viewers. Thank you to all our patrons who have remained faithful and are enjoying the multiple contents on there. Yes, we just put up part two of the three some betrayal, which is getting rave reviews and several other random videos, you know, that's going on exclusive, you know, on the channel. And for the people who have been sending Cash App and PayPal, TIS family appreciates it a whole lot, 100%. You know what I mean? Uriah, pick up yourself. A lot more, you know what I mean? Yeah. Miss Jacqueline, pick up yourself. You know what I mean? And several others I can't remember right now. Trust me, all of the people is. All of them, we appreciate everything, man. You understand? Because as I say, motivate me. And it helps out because sometimes YouTube don't pay for some of the videos. Enough of them, we say, God, no, them does not pay away. Those sort of things said. But we still love the people, and we still have put out the work the same way. And we still have a message to the youth, them, and make them know, say, yo. And we have to tell the youth, them, you know, if it's not good, don't do it. If it's not true, try not to say it. Because there's an old saying, I like and travel. Halfway around the world before the truth get a chance to put on his shoes. And nine times out of ten, the damage would have already been done. So be careful. It's a friendship. It's a very fickle thing, you know. Because sometimes, you know, man, a friend, you know, a person might be friend for years. But you are for them friend. Because you are the one who always had to the giving. And them are the one who always had to do the, the receiving. But you see, the minute them get a chance to reciprocate, at this you see, them true colors. So be careful who you call best friend. Sometimes I don't know one where you come with from far. That stands for shit. You know the buckle feel. I the one where I put in work beside you. Right now. The one where see your value and appreciate it. Yeah, them are the real friend. The one where, like Dr. Lee, where we have three shows, and Carly and get the best one. Some of say my idiot, you know, but that I owe him rate him friend them. And I hope for him friend. Maybe the one him get that wouldn't, wouldn't do that for him. You understand me? So friendship is a very fickle thing. Careful. Who you call best friend and be careful who you go up on apps with. And say you're charging. And your best friend. Now everybody can stand up in the Gideon when the fire reach them. You hear me I tell you? And not everybody can hold it in the J so. You have to be careful, know who you are, who you are roll with. So, you better you nobody know do it, cause enough found yourself and kill and go with all ten man and five man and I tell you when the police hold them. I call it all out in here. You just have to be careful, you know what I mean? Stay up on the right part and you want to worry about everything. I you know, say so you have to be perfect, you know? Because sometimes circumstances make you do what you have to do. But trying to do things out of anger, because nine times out of ten things that are done in anger never turn out to be the right thing. All is regrettable. But if you choose to pick up the gun or the knife, then there's a chance you might end up on two island stories. What will you choose? Uh? I hear you, I feel. 
question What will you choose? Lego is gonna come and TIS news What will you choose? Cry peace and dead in the field What will you choose? Lego is gonna come and CVM news What will you choose? Choose, choose, clues Don't say God with the touch Night time them run out fully dark Hands on one another, everything has sparks Who are the piranha? Which one of the shark? Moon and black are rims but the cat same soft And I estimate the pass and them get the bed back Screamers and white dream and them a war Whole place fuck up from them gone with the boss Scare them bridge dream a rat man dark Whole place a moon from them like a playboy When the man drop and who get the jar? Panty eyes, get on star But what will you choose? Lego the go that come panty eyes news So what will you choose? Cry peace and dead in the field What will you choose? Lego the go that come panty eyes news So what will you choose? What will you choose? Cry peace and dead in the field What will you choose? What will you choose? What will you you choose her, uh, what uh, will uh, you choose her? Uh, Dolly were platinum rock foot Mikey Pelp, head in our boat No no drop but him badness a goat Jet clean, make enough man fed for God So be dread and pogo out of salt Not to mag and you want enough man him out Junglist them will kill you then go burn down your house See you in a tent at the end in a thump none of them out hey! You do the crime then, you do the time Can't escape, you can't blur the line I choose the fifth and tear off the same And you can't mix up looks man with double film Marcel put more loan assassin One motion put the code by the bing Rock four tries the four at the gut that I sing